Hey guys, before uh, you watch this video, I just want to let you know that I'm so sorry for this audio. Um, you hear a bunch of chickens and cows and villagers having a blast while I'm recording this tutorial. Um, so please forgive me for that. Um, yeah, watch the video, try not to die from your ears exploding, and hit that like button. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video in the Spigot series. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to target players with your command arguments. Okie dokie, so last episode we learned how to handle arguments with our commands for our spigot plugins. So you can handle either one argument, no arguments, or multiple arguments um, just using this args string array here. And so now I want to show you how you can do something very similar, which is grab a name from the arguments, a player name, and then turn that string name into a player object reference so that we can do stuff to that player if they're online. So for example, I have a fart command I've created here. So this will be our command that we use to test this idea. So we'll do slash fart and then player name. And then what we want to do is send them a message telling them that they have been farted on and then kill them or something like that. You know, simple stuff, right? So what we want to do is check to see if the fart command when it's run has any arguments. If it does have an argument, then we're going to grab it and then handle it like that. And then otherwise, if it does not have any arguments, then we want to tell them that they farted on themselves because, you know, that's awesome. First basic stuff, um, sender instance of player p. Oops, player p. There we go. Let's just cast the player into a uh, casting the sender into a player if it's a player. There we go. And now we want to see if args dot length is equal to zero, then we're going to fart on ourselves. So um, p dot send message. You are so nasty. You have just farted all over yourself. Get yourself together, man. Cool. And then we'll have, um, what, sh what else should we do? We'll do p.setHealth to zero. So when you fart, you farted so hard that you internally combusted and you killed yourself. So that's the idea behind this command, okay? So otherwise, if args.length is not equal to zero, that, that, that means that they provided at least one argument when they ran the command. And we, we're going to expect that first argument to be a player, okay? So say um, string player name is equal to args zero, the first argument. And then now we want to figure out a way to take this and get a player from it, okay? And this is only possible if the player is online. Otherwise, um, we're gonna get some problems here. So there's a few ways you can do it, but one simple way you can do it is just by doing bucket dot get server dot get player exact. And so you can provide a player name, it'll give you a player object. Um, let's see how this works. So it gets the player with the exact given name, case insensitive, um, a player object if one was found, no otherwise. Okay, so that's very useful. We also have get offline player. That's essentially a similar thing. So it's an offline player object or reference. And this is um, essentially a way that you can work with a player even if they're offline, because sometimes if you try doing operations on a player reference, if they're offline, it'll give you problems. But anyway, um, we'll just go ahead and do this one here. So get player exact. This is the most useful one for our current use case. So player name, pass that in. And like I said in the documentation, if we do control Q, it says returns a player object if one was found, null otherwise. So we're just going to do player target. That's the variable we're gonna store that in. And we're gonna see, we're gonna say if target is equal to null. This means that the player is not online or it's not a player or something like that, right? So if that's the case, then we're just going to go ahead and say p.send message, you did not provide a real, we'll just say this player is not online. That's simple enough, right? And then um, that's it. Uh, we could do, you know, we could return here if we want to, or we could just go ahead and add an else branch. Depends on how you want to do it. So otherwise, if the target is not null, this means that the player is online on the server, the player was found by bucket, so we can go ahead and do stuff with this safely without issues, okay? Because we know it's not null. So in this case, we want to do target send message. We'll say, you have just been farted on. How does that make you feel? 
And then we'll go ahead and do target dot send message. Uh, or no, not send message, set health zero. Cause the fart is so deadly that it kills you as soon as you smell it, right? And then we'll also do p.send message and we'll tell them that the, the other player has been farted on just so it's like a confirmation that we know that the command has worked successfully when you run it. So we'll say you successfully farted on and then we'll say target dot get display name. So we're telling them, we're, con we're essentially confirming who they farted on. Um, and we'll, uh, let's actually modify this one. We'll tell them who farted on them so they can get revenge on them if they want to. All right. So we're just going to chop this up here, the string. We'll say you have just been farted on by, and then the person who farted on them, the person who ran the command. So p dot get display name. There we go. So you have just been farted on by Billy Bob. How does that make you feel? That should be good. And that's pretty much all we need, I think. Let's go ahead and just um, go over this one more time. So we're checking to see if it's a player who ran the command. And then we're checking to see if the amount of arguments is equal to zero. If the arguments is equal to zero, then we're going to go ahead and fart on ourselves. Pretty simple. Otherwise, if the arguments length is not equal to zero, then we're going to get the player that we provided in the arguments as a string. And then we're going to try taking that string player name and then getting a player object from it. If the player is not online, it'll just return null, which is something that we don't want to use because that'll give us a null exception. So we'll check to see if it's null, and then we'll tell them if it's null that the player is not online. Otherwise, if the target is not null, then this means that we successfully got a player on the server. So we'll send a confirmation message, we'll fart on the player, and it'll be a good day. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Pretty simple stuff, I think. Um, this is pretty much the exact same thing you want to do for any of the plugins where you want to get a target or target a specific player is what I mean. Um, you just go ahead and get the name of the person that you're trying to target and then try obtaining a player object of that player, okay? Pretty simple stuff, I hope. Um, let's go ahead and test this out now. So let me go ahead and register this real quick and then I'll jump on the server to test it out with you. Okie dokie, I'm back on the server. Let's go ahead and test out our brand new spanking fart command. Um, so slash fart, <laughs> I've just farted on myself. You are so nasty. You have just farted all over yourself. Get yourself together, man. Awesome. So now let's fart on somebody else. Oh. I'm the only person online, so we'll just try it out. So fart Illuminati. And it says, you have just, you have successfully farted on Illuminati. You have just been farted on by Illuminati. How does that make you feel? Illuminati died, because I died. Awesome. So obviously, um, if I had my test account on, it would be a little different. It wouldn't tell me both of these messages. Um, I would get the confirmation when I'm running the command, and then the other player that I'm targeting, targeting would be the person who gets the other message that you have just been farted on, okay? So if you want to test it out, with another account, then try that out. Um, just get two accounts on and then try um, farting on somebody. But there you go, that's how you can essentially target players within your command arguments. This is very useful for all kinds of commands like uh, fart commands, kill commands, message commands, teleport commands, literally anything that you can imagine this would be useful for. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode and you found it useful and uh, you'll use it in your future plugins. If you have any ideas for other plugins or features that you wanna see, then let me know and I will make a video on it and yeah all right so that's it for this video thanks for watching in the description below i'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out you can bookmark it come back to it later if you forget any concepts or you just want to review the concepts i taught in this video i'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video although your reviews are greatly appreciated so yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And uh, another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers, so you can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members, and also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.